Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, gonna have a fun show to, for you today. Terrence Crawford um, making some interesting comments. Moving 154. Let's get into it. Uh, but first, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, share 3D Boxing. Um, please subscribe to 3D Boxing, all forms of social media, as well as please subscribe to our other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, so it's near and dear to our heart. Please subscribe, uh, sub- but please subscribe to that channel as well. All right, let's get into today's news. Terrence Crawford said um, if he doesn't fight Spence next, he'll move to 154. This is interesting on two accounts. A, he could probably do it. He'll be small for the size. Um, but he's not that undersized. Um, he's got the skills to do it. He'll, he'll move to 154 to fight uh, the winner of Charlo Castano. Um, he's in the BO belt. The BO, BO has that role where if you hold the belt, you can jump up and wait and become the mandatory. Um, so he, he would exercise that. If he wins... If he would beat the winner of Charlo Castano, which I'm picking Charlo, if he were to win that fight, uh, he would be undisputed in two weight classes. He'd be the first guy to do that in the four belt era. He'd be the first guy to be undisputed in two different weight classes. And the interesting thing is he, he skipped over 47, right? He didn't skip over. He, he held one belt there, but he goes undisputed at 40. Went to belt at 47 and would go undisputed at 54 or one shot. Assuming... Um, that, you know, Charlo Castano put all the belts on the line, which you'd assume that they would, which would be a really interesting legacy play for Terrence Crawford and where you would rank him all time amongst the best, you know, we'll call him junior welterweights to junior middleweights in that in that era. Where, where would you rank him if he did that? It'd be quite a feat. That would be quite a feat. Um, it, it helps his legacy. If he, if he becomes a two-division undisputed champ, what does that do for his pound-for-pound pound status? Is he two? Is he three? Is he four? Would it put him to one? Would it put him over Canelo if he wants I, wins? I don't think so. It would also be interesting for 47. Um, right? Because right now he, he just beat Sean Porter. Um, he's a WBO champion. If he were to leave, um that would make way for Virgil Ortiz. Now, Virgil Ortiz um is wanting to go to WBO route. I think he he sees a fight. You know, there's gonna only be two champions in a month, two two months from now. Uh, Spence who got let's say Spence and Crawford. He thinks the Crawford fight is probably easier to make, and both fights are extremely difficult. Um, you know the Spence fight. He's always said it will happen at 154. I just don't think he. Either one of them are going to stay around 47 long enough. I, I think Virgil Ortiz is about bur- busting out of the scenes at 47. Is going to eventually go to 54. Errol Spence is going to go to 54 too. Um, looking – so right now, um, Verge is ranked number one in the WBO. Now, they can mandate whoever they want to fight. Uh, but if, if, you, if you look through their rankings, you got Virgil Ortiz at one, Jerry Enos at two, Michael McKinson at three. He's fighting McKinson. Let's assume he beats. Let's go out on a limb and assume Virgil Ortiz beats Michael McKinson, okay? And Jerry Enos beats uh, Castillo Clayton. Let's assume those things. Um, you could then have Boots versus Enos fight one and two for the vacant WBO belt that Crawford left behind. So I, I think this is a win. I really do. Like if, if, if um, Enos, if, if Crawford goes up to 54, which you guys are laughing at some of y'all, 
I think him versus Charles Orcastano, whoever wins that, is a really interesting fight. And then at 47, you could really you, – you could get mandated by the WO. Number one versus Ortiz in their rankings against number two, Jerry Enos, in their rankings. That's a double win. That's a, and then one of them guys is going to get a belt. That's a double win. I, I, I'm kind of hoping – look, if we can't get Crawford Spence, which I don't know, man. We've been talking about this for years. I, I've been talking about this fight since 2017. I don't know, man. Do you get this fight? I have no idea. If you can't, and you could by mandate, by WBO mandate, get both Crawford versus Charlo Castano winner and Boots versus Virgil. Guys, that's great news. That's great news. Um, so I, I, boxing fans win either way. Look, if you get Crawford versus Spence, that's a win. If you don't get Crawford versus Spence, right, and Crawford goes to 54, you get Crawford versus Castano and Virgil versus Boot. Possibly. Likely. I, there's no losing here, right? I get I get it, right? So let's say Boots and Enos, let's say Spence, let's say Crawford goes up to 54. The 47 landscape would be Spence. Let's assume Spence beats Ugas. We'd have three of the belts. Then you would have Boot versus Virgil at 47. The winner of that possibly could fight Spencer or Undisputed for all the belts. It it shapes up nicely. <laughs> it shapes up nicely. So, I, you know, I, a lot of people say Crawford can't go to 54. Crawford can go to 54. Crawford can go to 54. Um, you stand next to Charlo, Jamal Charlo, Little Charlo, and you stand next to Spence. They're not that different in size. Right, uh, Crawford's built a little different. He's tall, long, and lankier. Right, he's not really built like. But Crawford and and and, and Jamel Charlo, I, I'd say there's a bigger difference in size between Jamal and Jamel than there's Jamel and Errol. Right, Errol is closer in size to Jamel than Jamel is to Jamal. Like, there's not that much of a difference. Um, you know, I've always thought Spence could go up to 160 over time, and he still may. I mean, he's got four or five years left in his career. Who knows where he ends up? I always thought he could fill up as a middleweight because he's a big guy. Um, I don't, and, and you know, I, I, I get, um, Spence started at 35, but he's not small for 47. He's like a good size 47. So he'd be small at 54, but he's not too small for the weight class. He's not that small. Yeah, he could go up to 54. That's not a problem. I would pick him to win. If it was Charlo or Castano, I'd still pick Charlo to win. I mean, I'd pick Castano. I'm, I'm sorry. I'd pick Crawford to beat either one of those guys, honestly. Um, it's a great fight. It's what I want to see. Um, but I there's no losing here. There's no losing here. I'm into it. I don't know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it is – oh, uh, please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. Um, yeah, please subscribe to Text Box Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to text, uh, Autism Research and Recovery. It's very near and dear to our heart. Um, it is February 24th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. <laughs>